Hi guys, welcome to a new video on our wishbone bead testing. This is part three. We are going to be testing all the changes we made. Today we actually got about 12 different versions to test and each one has got a specific setup. So we're gonna try and find what is the best in terms of brake strain compared to the previous. Let's go. one we don't expect to go too high well we're really well over previous that's very good starting to slip now and there she pulls out okay we're going to run through the rest of these there's 12 in total and each one has a slightly different setup the previous one was very good this one's good enough to use as is but i would still rather use the previous setup third one And there she goes. And there we go. I didn't expect these white ones to do very well. I do expect these black ones, which is a different material, to perform better, but that's the theory. Let's see what happens in practice. We're not testing them in rubber. We did do the last lot and they were pretty constant with our jig. Wow, these are a lot stronger as we anticipated. Yeah, that was around 140 something. Remember that's a single direction. On a rubber it'll be double. So that's 280 kilos of rubber pull which you'd never be able to do so in principle we're on the right track anything over 40 is perfectly good and we 145 150, this, this is crazy. We're nearly reaching max brake strain of the Dyneema itself. That should be what the brake strain of the Dyneema is. 180, it's starting to slip now. Yep. That's impressive. That got to the brake strain of Dyneema. And there she goes, that was 150 odd. Also, more than adequate for what we need. Forty kgs is all we need. These are mostly now going over 100, 100 plus. I mean, the one was 180 something. Way overkill. These in theory should be even better. Always good to zero. The one kilo yarrow there is not really going to make any difference.
Another good one. Definitely think we're onto something here. This is, uh, will make production a lot easier and more controllable. And we really getting good loads before they destruct. And we'll know exactly which ones are best. We've got 12 different variations here. We'll then stick to the one and do a whole lot more testing and see how that goes. I'm surprised this specific one isn't as good as the previous. The previous black batch was very good. Although this one is being exceptionally good, close to the breaking strain of the Dynema. There it is, breaking strain of the Dynema. But they're destructing it. Massive loads. No way you ever be able to pull that gun, the rubber to that load. Last one. As I mentioned, anything over 40 is good. We already double that. And there she starts to go. Well, there you go. A really successful test. And uh, hopefully these will be in production soon. Stand by for the next one.